if you are a creative and you have something creative to say, something creative to draw, write, etc., you have exactly what you need right now to bring that into the world. You don't need another camera. You don't need another iPad. You don't need more art supplies or whatever tools that you think you may need to help facilitate whatever it is that you have inside of you that's creative that just needs to come out. You have the answer. You have everything that you need. It's all within you. You just have to sit down and do the work. And doing the work is not just doing the work sometimes or kind of sort of, it's sitting down every single day and greasing that groove, facing the resistance and just putting out artwork. Now, whether you share that with the world or not, that's up to you, but sitting down in the seat and creating the work, whatever that means for you. If that's writing the book, painting the painting, doing the digital doodle, doesn't matter but it's showing up for it every single day. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers out there saying like, you shouldn't make art every single day, or I think making art every single day is bad advice. I completely disagree with that. I think showing up for your craft, checking that box, whether it's honestly total crap art or like some of your best work, you have to show up and build that muscle. Creativity is within every single one of us. Some of us are just more expressive with that and some of us make more time for our creativity than others. If you're sitting at a desk job or a nine to five or working for somebody else and you have this creative urge within you that is just pulling you to do something more with your life, maybe it's this like crazy sci-fi novel you've always wanted to write or start a YouTube channel or whatever it may be that's creative that is just like pulling at your heartstrings that you have avoided or ignored for months, years take the plunge and do the thing it can start with like five minutes a day give yourself five minutes to write whatever comes out for that novel and maybe it's only you know i have no idea what to write today but i'm sitting down and doing the work period and eventually if you do that enough times show up to the easel show up to the word document show up to the youtube videos you will see success you just have to keep showing up and you have to get the bad art out and so this advice of like don't show up and make art every single day I disagree with. Frankly, some of the most famous like modern day artists are people that created work every single day. Like they were doing 365 projects, which is one piece of art every single day for a year. And that completely changed the trajectory of their entire career. Um, it opened up new careers for some people. So get out there, do the work. You have all the tools you need right at your disposal. You don't need a, a full-blown Michael store in a spare bedroom to create art. Like you have everything you could possibly need. I just feel very passionate about this because I have been that person. I've been the person who ignored my artistic voice. I ignored my creativity. It kind of oozed out in other ways and areas of my life. Like I owned a pretty successful business in ways I was able to be creative there, but in other ways I wasn't. I had business partners and I had limitations based on just the type of business that I was in. I was just kind of having to put some of that stuff on the back burner because there were other things in my life that required and demanded way more of my attention. And so my inner artist, my creative, she got kind of quieted down a little bit and moved to the side. I don't think you will ever be upset about creating more things in life. If this sounds like you or you resonate with anything that I'm saying, um, even if it's just like a tiny little morsel, go make something today and detach yourself completely from the results of that thing. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. It doesn't matter. The end result does not matter. The act of doing the thing is what matters. We're so fixated on the product. We're so fixated on the outcome. It's all about producing and coming to that like end result, that final outcome, that piece of art, whatever it may be. And we lose touch with the whole purpose of all of this, at least from my perspective, which is the journey and the process and just being in that and learning about yourself, learning about others, finding that flow state of creating where you just kind of lose track of yourself and time. And it's just, there was this great Gibson ad. I wish I could find it. Gibson guitars. It said five minutes equals three hours. And I thought that was anyone that's ever played an instrument or been creative in some way, shape or form. Like you eventually lose yourself in that. And I thought that ad was so fitting, such a short condensed way to say so much. 
that was probably 15 years ago that they ran that ad maybe. And I still think about it to this day. Yeah, so I guess public service announcement to all creatives, like you have everything that you could possibly need. You have it, I promise you have it. You just have to show up for it and you have to be consistent. And so find five minutes a day, literally five minutes, that's easy. Five minutes, once a day, every day. And even if those five minutes are you crying in front of the easel and just like literally drawing a sad face, that's enough. That's more than enough. If this gets one single view, I hope that I helped you and I hope that you find time for yourself because you are the most important thing. If you can't find time for yourself, nobody else will. So best of luck to you and happy creating.